Now, once you have done that, we have two options right now. And that is either use your quadratic formula or factorization. Factorization is always nice, but in this case, you cannot factor. So we have two methods right now that we have mentioned. Number one, factoring. If you cannot factor, then we suggest that you use the quadratic formula. What is the quadratic formula? Well, you know about factoring because we have discussed that earlier. But quadratic formula, what is that? That formula says that you have what x equal to a negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now that will come in very handy, and it relates to our standard form, which is located above. The a will be your coefficient of the x squared term, the b will be your coefficient of the middle term, and c will be your constant. Okay? So all you need to do is identify those things in your quadratic form and put it in this quadratic formula. Okay? So if you look at the equation that we have before us, the coefficient of that x squared term is 1, so that means that a is equal to what? 1. B. B is the middle coefficient, and that is a negative, what, 18? And then C will be a constant, and that will be, what, 6. So we have, what, A, B, and C, which is um, sequentially placed. And all we need to do is, what, put that into our quadratic formula, and then simplify. So if we have that situation, and make sure that you have that formula alongside, that will give us what? X equal to a negative of B. What is B? B is equal to a negative, what, 18? Just make sure that you do that replacement, which we have done before. Plus or minus, that's a plus or minus. We'll get to that in a while. We have the square root of what? Negative, what, 18, what, square? Um, minus 4 times A. A is equal to 1. And C is equal to the 6. The whole expression is divided by 2 times A, as you see. And A, again, is equal to what, 1. So basically what we're doing is following this, what, this formula. Plug it in, as we did earlier, where we substituted. And this is what you have before you. Now, let's simplify. A negative of a negative, which means the opposite of a negative is what? A positive, what, 18? Plus or minus. We have this radical, which is what? The square root. And we need to, what, simplify it within. So a negative 18, what's the meaning of 18 times 18? We need to multiply, okay? It shouldn't take us very long to do that. 8 times 8 will give us, what, 64, carry your 6. And 8 times 1 is 8, plus the 6 will give us uh, 14. We multiply the 1, 1 times 8 will give you 8. 1 times 1 will give us 1. We combine it to give us, what, 4. 8 and 4 will give us, what, 12. Okay, you 1. It'll give us, what, 3. So what we have here is, what, 3, 20, what, 4. We multiply here from left to right. We have an 8 to 4 times 1 will give us, what, an 8 to 4. And an 8 to 4 times 6. And an 8 to 4 times 6 will give us an 8 to, what, 24. And that should be all over 2 times 1, which is what? 2. Um, from here, all of operations say that you're going to do what? Combine what's under the radical. And we subtract 24 from 324. <laughs> and that will give us what? Uh, 300. And we proceed to simplify the square root of 300. Now, it's very interesting here because 300, we're looking for what, perfect squares? Literally, you see that you can have, what, 3 times, what, 100. You see that. 
And what do you notice? We notice that 100 is a what? Perfect square. What makes it a perfect square? What times what would give you 100? That's 10 times what? 10. So that's what you're going to separate this into. So we're going to have what? 18 plus or minus the square root of what? 100 times the square root of 3. Once again, where did that come from? The 300 is not separated. We separate that into what? 3 times what? 100. And why are we doing it? We're doing it because we can take the square root of what? 100. Okay? So that's your measure goal. And that's over what? 2. Okay? Once again, what is the square root of 100? Well, we just explained to you that's the same thing as what? Uh, 10. So we have what? 18. Plus or minus, the square root of 100 is what, 10? And that's times the square root of what, 3? All over what, 2? So our final answer, when you look at it, we can divide 2 into both 18 and what, 10? And that's what you all would attempt to do. And half of 18 is what? That's what, 9? Plus or minus, and half of 10 is 5. So the final answer that we want you to use will be 9 plus or minus 5, the square root of 3. This is what you will use this, you know, for getting your answer, for you to get your answer, okay? So this will be it. Solving rational equations.